going to be quite a haul. We are going to be doing a makeup haul for you guys and these are things that I have been accumulating over the past month or so. Um, I have stuff from ColourPop of course. I have quite a few things from ColourPop. There were a couple of things that definitely caught my eye this summer that I would like to share with you guys. I also have some stuff from Sephora. Nothing too crazy. Um, and then I also got um, just a couple of things from Ulta. Nothing too crazy either. Then I also made uh, a melt order and also a Nomad Cosmetics order. So we are going to get started and I'm going to show you guys everything that I got from ColourPop first. So I did make a couple of orders. Um, I only made two orders. Um, so I'm going to show you guys what's in the first order first. Um, so let's pull those items that I ordered. Um, so I did get a couple of things from random new collections that I wanted to share with you guys. So first off, I just got a, another backup of my favorite lip oil in the universe, which is the ColourPop Luxe Lip Oil in the shade Dewdrop. I was using a different uh, lip oil for a little while, but then I started to miss this again, so I just went ahead and picked up a backup. You guys know I've been through countless uh, tubes of these. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth one at this point. This is like my everyday lip oil. When I do my makeup, this is what I use to prep my lips before I... And then once I'm done with my makeup, it, my lips are nice and nourish, nourished to put lipstick on. So I love that. So I just got yet another... I just got... I just got yet another one of those. I thought I got something else in this order, but for some reason I cannot find it right now. Hold on. I put it everything in this Ulta bag and I'll just find it at the end. So the next thing that I got is this was my July palette, but then I ended up getting three other eyeshadow palettes, I think. Actually four. So we have five eyeshadow palettes in this video. I went a little bit crazy with eyeshadow palettes this past month. Um, I was trying to stick to my one palette a month rule, but of course that ended up going out the window. And I decided to get this palette from ColourPop. Okay, it was throwing me off that I didn't have the other item in front of me, so now I have it. So this is the In the Limelight palette by ColourPop. I got convinced to finally pick this guy up because of Morgan Turner. She was absolutely raving about this one from ColourPop, and she said that this was the best release that they had this year, so I was like, okay, I think I need to try it. Originally, of course, I was going to skip over it because I'm a dumbass, because literally, I've said this about every single ColourPop palette that I skip over, it ends up becoming one of my favorite palettes in my collection. So, this is the In the Limelight palette, and it's one of their nine pans, and this is what the palette looks like. I'll give you guys a quick close-up. Such a pretty summer palette, right? So we have four mattes and then one matte with shimmer and then we have four shimmer shades. So I don't know if my mom is... I can't. So anyway, um, so with these shimmers in here, they're so beautiful and the mattes blend really nicely. So we have star power almost famous in miami then we have debut booked and play date and then we have after party palms and layout and i have to say i did post a first impressions on this on this palette already um i wanted to get my first impressions videos up before this haul video so you guys could see my thoughts on these palettes and i really really like this one i've used it quite a bit um since i've gotten it i've tried out all the shimmers for you guys and I really do like the formula in this palette. Honestly, this is the best palette I've tried from ColourPop until the next one I'm going to talk about that's on my eyes right now. But I was honestly kind of disappointed with their formula. With the regular like palettes I was trying, the only palettes I ended up liking were the ones from like the Disney collections, like the Star Wars palette and the Winnie the Pooh palette. This was the first palette that I tried from a non-Disney collection this year that I was seriously impressed by with ColourPop. The shimmers are so smooth and buttery and shiny and beautiful. They're really, really pretty. And the mattes are really, really smooth and blend out really, really nicely. So 
This one is booked, this one is Playdate, and this one is Miami. So I'm just going to swatch a couple of them for you guys. Is this Miami or After Party? I don't even know. That's After Party, sorry. So we have booked, Playdate, and After Party. Really pretty shades. I was really, like, kind of hesitant to try this because I wasn't sure if this was going to perform the same way that the All Amethyst palette did. But since Morgan Turner said that this was the best palette that they launched this year, I was like, all right, I need to try it. And she reviews a lot of ColourPop palettes, and she said that she was loving this palette for summertime, and she said that it performs really well. Like, if you're intimidated by color, this one is the shade Debut. So those are some of the shades swatched in this palette. But if you're intimidated by color and you kind of want to dip your toes into some color for the summertime, I think this palette is a really good option. So that is the first palette that I picked up. I'm not going to ramble too long about everything, but I just wanted to show you guys that first. And then the second thing that I got was one of the Super Shock, uh, another one of the Super Shock Cheeks from the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh collection. I was trying to resist getting this, but I just think that the tones that they released for this collection were so pretty. And you guys know I'm a sucker for gold shades. And honestly, I didn't really have any gold Super Shock highlighters, which is so weird to me. The only one I really have is the Barbie one, but that's one of the sole body ones. I wanted just one of the regular Super Shocks. And I love the Silly Old Bear shade from this collection. So I really wanted to pick up the more golden toned one. So look how cute this packaging is, right? It's so adorable with Winnie the Pooh on it. And then this is the shade, and this is such a beautiful, golden, shimmery dream. It is such a pretty highlighter. I mean, the Super Shock formula is one of their best, and this is just gorgeous, and I really, really love this one so far. I mean, I already know how much I love the Super Shock formula, and I just wanted another shade, and... I, again, was not going to get this initially, and now it's, I just think it's such a beautiful highlighter. I've used it, like, twice. I haven't used it as often as I would like to. I'm definitely going to use it more. I'm only wearing one thing from this haul today, which is the eyeshadow palette. The rest of the products I'm wearing are, like, oldie but goodie products, but this is beautiful. So, and then I got two products from the getting fresh collection that they launched bronzers and lip glosses with as well it was kind of a random selection of products that was launched together but I did pick up one of the matte bronzers and I did get one of the so glassy glosses because you guys know how much I freaking love this so glassy metallic gloss in this shade um what is this called infinity I could not uh, infinite. I could not read it. It's so tiny. Love that formula. It's become one of my favorite lip gloss formulas ever. I think it's amazing. They're literally like lip glasses. But we got to talk about this bronzer first. But I really wanted to get one of the shades in the matte finish, not the metallic finish. So I picked up another one. So anyway, I got one of the matte bronzers. And again, I was initially not going to get this. But this is the first and only bronzer I have picked up this year. I have been on a no-buy for bronzers for the whole year. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to pick this up and try it. Because um, I really was intrigued in trying it. So I got the shade Alviva Beach. <sighs> you guys. So first off, I kind of wish that the packaging was a little bit smaller. But this is what the packaging looks like. I love the outer packaging with kind of like the beach theme. I think it's super cute love that um and this is the actual packaging for the bronzer and it says the shade name on the back i'm not in love that this is like one of the bigger compacts i kind of wish it was in the smaller compact that the powder is in because i kind of wish that the powder was in this packaging and the bronzer was in this packaging because the powder i use this powder to death you guys but i would kind of wish that this was you know in a bigger packaging so it will last longer because you use a powder every single day pretty much and as you guys can see I use the hell out of this um but I kind of wish it was in that smaller packaging but it's okay so let me open it up 
So this is what it looks like. That is the shade. And I was a little bit intimidated by this shade at first. But you guys, this is one of the most beautiful bronzers I've ever used before. If not my favorite bronzer in my collection. Now, I have used this. And I'm going to say this in my favorites video too. So sorry if I'm being a little bit repetitive. But I've used this every single day since I've gotten it. I used it. For the entire month of July, as soon as I got it and as soon as I tried it, used it every single day in July. It's just such a easy formula to use. It is so soft and smooth and buttery and beautiful and I love the shade but it literally feels like velvet. It is so soft. It feels like a velvet suede formula. And it is gorgeous on the skin. It blends out beautifully and I absolutely love the shade name. So I love this. I'm going to talk about it more in my favorites video. But just to tell you guys, if you were thinking about getting an affordable bronzer or just looking at, for a new bronzer in general, I highly recommend this. The formula is absolutely amazing. I'm actually super impressed on how good this is. It's just as smooth on the skin as the pretty fresh powder. Like... You guys know how much I rave about this powder. The bronzer is phenomenal. One of my all-time favorite products from ColourPop, hands down. Okay, and then the last thing that I got was the So Glassy Lip Gloss in the shade Solana. Originally, I was going to get the color Huntington because I'm from Huntington, New York. Um, but I wanted to uh, get a shade that was a little bit more suitable for me because the Huntington shade was a little bit dark. So I got the shade Solana, and this is like a really pretty tan color, and I love this color for the summertime. You guys, I've worn this a ton already. I've been topping this over so many lipsticks, and it's just so gorgeous. I'll show you guys what it looks like. I wanted to put it on camera. Put it on on camera for you guys. It's just such an easy formula, and it just glides on your lips so smoothly and I, hands down this is my all-time favorite gloss formula from ColourPop because as you guys know I'm not that crazy about ColourPop's lip gloss formula but this one is amazing I mean not and for some reason Angelica Nyquist isn't in love with this formula I'm just trying to smooth it out for you guys but it's just so easy and look at how pretty that is on the lips it just gives it such a beautiful shine and I'm absolutely obsessed with this formula it's just so gorgeous like look at that it just makes your skin look like makes your lips look like glass I absolutely love this best formula they've done for gloss hands down um for some reason Angelica Nyquist doesn't like this but Morgan Turner Butte Bean, everybody else that I've seen try this, they say that they love this formula, so I don't know, maybe to each their own. So that is the first order that I got from ColourPop. Now let's go through some of the other stuff that I got. So I did get a couple of things from their, one of their newest collections. So I'm just trying to find... Here's the other product. I'm like, where's the other products that I got? So I did get some products from the um, collection, the In the Springs collection. So I did get the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter, and I also got one of the ultra glowing lips. So I'm going to share with you guys what I got. So the first thing that I got was the In the Springs eyeshadow palette. And I was not going to get this again, but I kept on eyeing it and I'm like, First off, the packaging on this collection, so cute. Some of my favorite packaging they've ever done. I just love this blue colored packaging. I think it's just super cute. And I also love that, I love that the outer packaging is the same as the inner packaging, but also I really like these orange flowers because they're actually like kind of like that shiny material where you can actually, you know, feel the, the actual material same thing with the in the limelight palette it also has that shiny finish to it so I really like that so anyway the shade names are on the back and then when you open it up this is what it looks like there's also a plastic insert but I love that it has like the pool theme 
on top and then it also has the pool theme in the background where it's the actual pool and that's what drew me into this palette i'm like this background literally makes me want to swim in a pool every time i use this palette and every time i look at it i'm like i need to be in a pool drinking a cocktail but um so anyway this is what the in the springs palette looks like so i'll show you guys a close-up so pretty right so we have seven mattes and then we also have one matte with shimmer and then the rest of the rest of the palette is shimmer so we have four shimmers we have three regular shimmers and then one super shock shade so let's just go through the shades real quick so we have prick me soaked neon kiss and sizzlin then we have private event hot tub climb time and intense intense so cute then we have get ariel palms away chino and hole in one and you guys this is a hole in one formula this is the best formula i've tried from ColourPop since last year these mattes blend so easily i'm wearing this palette today i've been wearing this uh this look for like seven plus hours because i'm filming this after i came home from work okay still looks so pretty um i think the mattes just blend so easily they're also so pigmented and soft and smooth on the eyes and the shimmers are absolutely stunning just as good as the shimmers in the in the limelight palette but these are just so shiny and metallic and beautiful and the shimmer formula i'm used to from ColourPop. so please ColourPop, keep it up with the in the limelight and this palette there's also no kick up from these shades either. Not powdery, pigmented, easy to blend, just so pretty. So what I'm wearing today is Neon Kiss in the Crease. Then I darken up the crease more with Get Ariel. Then I used the shade Chino on the outer corners. Then I used the shade Hot Tub all over the lid. And then I just popped Hole in One on the lower lash line. And then I put Prick Me on the inner corners and that's what I'm wearing today. I pretty much wore this look um, in my first impressions of this video. I'm just wearing a different liner on my waterline for this um, look today, but it's pretty much the same look that I did in my first impressions video if you guys want to check that out to see how I got this look. Um, so I'm just going to swatch a couple of shades for you guys. I'm of course swatching the blue shimmer and this is the hot tub and this is climb time and then I'll swatch that teal shade. So pretty, right? I'm just going to swatch them down here. So that's what they look like. Really, really good formula, you guys. So we have Climb Time, Hot Tub, and Intense. Just so good. They swatch so easily. And then um, I'll swatch the Super Shock shade because this shade is so dang pretty. It's such a gorgeous, like, glittery formula it's just i love the super shock shades but these have like the shimmers that i'm like craving in this summer which are like super metallic and have like a bunch of micro glitters in them i am here for that formula this summer and this palette just gives it to me and i've used this palette quite a lot since i've gotten it this is like the sixth time i'm wearing it and i absolutely love it i've also used all the shades in this as well and I absolutely love this palette. This is such a good summer palette, so I highly recommend it. Okay, then I also got the highlighter from the collection in the shade Flip Flop. This is the Super Shock Highlighter. And this is what the packaging looks like. Really love the packaging. And then when you open it up, I just wish that the packaging on this was the same on here. I feel like it looks a little cheap, but it's really cute with the blue packaging. Just a little, you know, it's plastic, so... And then it does come with a plastic insert. And then this is the shade Flip Flop. It does come with a mirror as well, which is nice. Um, and this is just such a gorgeous highlighter, you guys. It's pretty much almost the same shade as Prick Me. It is a little bit lighter, though. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I've worn this highlighter quite a few times. I've worn it at least three times since I've gotten it. It's just such a beautiful highlighter. It glides on the skin so easily and it just adds like it's i'm not wearing it today i'm wearing a different one but it adds like such a beautiful like beach 
glow to your skin. And I wore this uh, highlighter to the beach. And I also wore the, wore the eyeshadow palette to the beach too. And I love it. It's just so pretty. But again, I love the Super Shock formula. So those are the only two highlighters that I got from ColourPop. And then the last item is one of the lipsticks. Um, and this is the Ultra Glowing Lip in the shade Adults Only. Again, I fell for this blue packaging. It's so freaking adorable. And I have worn this shade like three times already. And it's just such a pretty like peachy color. And it just adds like, it's not like super orange. It just adds like this perfect hint of peach to every look. I would have worn it today, but again, I'm wearing a different lipstick today. So I've already worn this one quite a few times and I really love the Ultra Glowing Lip Formula from ColourPop. Really, really good formula. Just super easy to wear in the summertime. And I've been absolutely obsessed with this formula in the summertime. And then I did get three more lip products from this order. I did get another one of the Ultra Glowing Lips because I've only, I only have one of them and I kind of wanted a couple more shades because... I've been, again, absolutely obsessed with this formula for the summertime. I just want to wipe off some of these swatches because we're definitely going to swatch some more stuff for you guys. So I finally got a pink color in the Ultra Glowing Lips. I don't know why it took me this long to pick up one because I've been wanting a pink shade. But I finally decided with this order that I was going to finally get a pink color. So I got the Ultra Glowing Lip in the shade Cockatoo. Um, and I really love the pink packaging. Really, really cute. I think this is one of the original colors that they launched with the first launch. So anyway, this is what the packaging looks like. I love the packaging. Super cute. Same packaging as the one that I have in the shade. I forgot what the shade is called that I have, but I wear it all the time. So this is the shade Cockatoo. And really cute with the stars on the tube. And it's just adorable. And then this is what this color looks like. And it's just such a pretty, like, easy pink shade. And I absolutely love this formula. It's so good. And I finally wore this one yesterday because I haven't been wearing that much pink lately. And it's so pretty. Makes your lips look so juicy and, and nice. And I'm literally just going to throw this right in my drawer next to me because when I don't know what lip product to wear or when I just want to throw a lipstick on... These are literally what I wear, and I keep the blotted lip in the drawer and also the ultra glowing lip. So that is just going right in there. Okay, and then the last two things that I got from this order are two of the new Disney princess lipsticks. You guys know, of course, I had to get these because they're Disney, and I'm a Disney hoe. So I got two of the shades. Um, I got the shades Moana and uh, Princess Aurora. I don't know why the packaging is reverse on these. I don't know why the stickers aren't on top of both of the packaging. This one's on the bottom. But this one is Princess Aurora and this one is Moana. So I don't know why I'm holding them like this. But of course I had to get these. So the first shade that I got was Moana. And I love the little detailing of the packaging. It's just really cute. I also love the soft pink tubes. I think it's very pretty. And then when you open it up, this is the shade Moana. And this is a gorgeous, like, nudish, almost nude rose kind of shade. But it's a little bit of a warmer tone rose. So it's not really that pink. It's such a pretty color. I've worn this one a couple of times already, and I love it. You guys know I absolutely am in love with the Luxe Lip Formula. It's my favorite. And then the other shade, of course, you guys know I had to get Princess Aurora because she's my favorite Disney princess. And I have, she never had a, a, a Luxe lipstick and neither did Moana. This is the first thing they've ever released for Moana with ColourPop. So this is what this one looks like and it has the roses and the crown, super cute. And then this is what Aurora looks like, which is a really, really, really gorgeous pink. I wore this a couple of days ago and I'm absolutely obsessed with this shade. It's such a pretty pink color. It's definitely a little bit more vibrant than the Ultra Glowing Lip in Cockatoo, but those are the two shades that I got and I absolutely love them and I can't wait to wear this one more. Um, but I don't wear pink all the time. So that is everything that I got from ColourPop. But I did also get one thing from ColourPop from Ulta and I did get 
just a few things. I got, I didn't go crazy because they were doing this promo where if you order things online and pick up in store, you got an extra 10% off. And then I also used my points on these. So I got a few dollars off on each of these purchases. So I thought they were pretty good. So the last thing that I got from ColourPop, but I did get this at Ulta, <clears throat> is I cannot believe how long this took me to pick up finally, but I finally bit the bullet and bought it. And this is the ColourPop Nude Mood Palette. Why did it take me this long to get this? I have no clue. I mean, this is kind of a no-brainer for me to get. I just wanted a, another neutral palette from ColourPop because to be honest, I don't really have that many. I have the Going Coconuts and I have the Plush Like Me. And then most of my other palettes are either older palettes, like the Kathleen Lights one, or the It's a Princess thing. But honestly, I go more so for like the half colorful, half neutral palettes now from ColourPop. But I was like, you know what? I've been dying to get this for a long time. And I kept on eyeing it in Ulta that I was like, you know what? I'm finally just going to pick it up. So I love this packaging. So pretty. Again, I love that you can, like, it has, like, that shiny detailing to it that you can actually feel the texture. And then when you open it up, it has, like, the, that floral print on top, no mirror. And then this is the 9-pan palette. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times over. But I finally picked this up for myself, and I've used it quite a bit already. I've used all the shimmers. I've used every single shade, and I'm absolutely obsessed with this. It's such a good formula. So we have... So I'll just show you guys a close-up real quick. So we have three beautiful metallics. And then we have <coughs> four mattes and then two matte, mattes with shimmer. So we have Bluffin, Wink Wink, and Bear to Wear. Then we have On Natural, Put On Airs, and Mugged Off. Then we have Lap of Lux, The Coco, and Moody. So let's go ahead and swatch these for you guys. Super gorgeous formula. These metallics are like super shiny and pigmented. Absolutely obsessed. I think that they're so beautiful and these shimmers are so stunning. I'm obsessed. So I just want to swatch a couple of them for you guys. You guys can check out my um, first impressions on this palette, but I'm already like obsessed with it. So this one is put on airs. This one is Wink Wink, and this one is Mugged Off. I might like this even more than the Going Coconuts palette, and that's been my favorite neutral palette for so long. But I think that the mattes blend even better in this palette, and the shimmers are that stunning, sparkly formula that I've been obsessed with lately, and it's just so gorgeous on the eyes, and it's so easy to use, like... Now when I don't know what eyeshadow palette to wear, this is such a good one just to throw on an easy neutral look. And it's just so pretty. Every time I wear it, I love my eyeshadow because it's such an easy formula to use. So that is that. And then the next things that I got from Ulta, I wasn't sure if I was going to get these, but then I just finally decided to pick them up. And I got two of the shades of the Benefit box blushes that they had relaunched. And they came out with a bunch of new shades. And I picked up two of the mini shades. And I got the shade Peachin and the shade Shelly, which is pretty much their two most popular colors. So this is the shade Peachin. It's a really pretty, like, apricot color. Well, apricot peach. And this is really pretty. I've, I've used these a couple of times now. Honestly, they're not my favorite formula, but I really like the shades, and I just think that they work with a lot of different um, looks. So I got the shade Peachin, and then the second shade, which I love the little, like, peach with the, like, kind of looks like a hot air balloon. I think that's adorable. And then the shade Shelly has a seashell on it, which is really cute. And that is the shade Shelly, which is a really pretty, like, kind of peachy pink shade. And I've been wearing this one a lot too. But these are just really easy to wear everyday shades. And if you build up the color, it's really, really pretty on the cheeks. But I would suggest to pick up more products than you think. Because it's more of like a, a buildable formula. But these are really pretty and I've used them a few times. I wasn't sure if I was going to get them because I'm not like all about Benefit anymore. Because 
It was a long time since they actually added more colors to this range, but I'm finally glad that they did. And then the last thing that I got is that I just decided to get the Ordinary Hydrolonic Acid 2% a Hydration Support Formula with Ultra Pure Vegan Hydrolonic Acid. I actually have the bottle in my bathroom, but I was just going to tell you guys that I picked this up. Um, I just wanted to get a hydrolonic acid for myself because every girl at Sephora pretty much told me that I should get hydrolonic acid because I was like, should I add a night serum or should I add something else to my routine? And they said, you're kind of using a lot of drying products. A hydrolonic acid would be perfect for you. So I decided to get it and it really is helping hydrate my skin. And this is such a easy, gentle formula. I really like it. So that is everything that I got from Ulta now let's move on to what I got from Sephora what else did I get I thought I got two skincare products but they're both backups of things that I already had I think I just got a Sephora brush soap so I just got another one of those and then I got um a backup of my or of my inky list retinol I'm not gonna grab either of those because those are things that I just pick up backups of all the time and you guys don't need to see me like talk about those so I just wanted to let you guys know that I got both of them um, but I did get two lipsticks as well from Sephora so what I decided to do and the lady was really really sweet for me to, to let me exchange these products but I wanted to exchange the Melt Cosmetics um, Mary Posa blush palette because, to be honest, I was not really using it at all. The shades in there were kind of just way too dark for me. And it, even though it was a great formula, it, they were just colors I weren't was not wearing. So I decided to um, ask them if I could get a store credit for it and buy some other items that I've been eyeing instead and they said that that was totally fine they just said are you buying stuff today and I said yes because it was like past the two like two months already because I think you can only do an exchange in like the first 60 days but they were kind enough to do that for me so that was really nice so I decided to get two lip products so I did get one of the new rare beauty lipsticks so this is the Kind Words Matte Lipstick in the shade Creative. I really wanted to try one of these because I actually really like her liquid lipstick formula. It's really nice. So I was intrigued on trying one of these. So I got the shade Creative. So this is the packaging. I really like the packaging because you press it and it comes out like that. Really, really cute. Really like this component. And then this is the shade Creative. And this is a really pretty peachy everyday nude shade. And I do really like the formula of this. It's very comfortable on the lips. Very easy to apply. It looks a little bit more matte than it actually goes on on my lips. But it's really, really pretty. I've been wearing this quite a bit. And I really like it so far. And then the second lip product that I got that everyone seems to be raving about this matte lip formula. But I like the Rare Beauty one I think a little bit more. But this one is still good. <laughs> but I wouldn't be like oh my god you need to run out and buy this but I like it but I'm not like in love with it but I really wanted to try one of these so give by Gwen Stefani is um Gwen Stefani's new makeup line at Sephora and she did finally come out with nude shades with her lipstick because originally she had only launched two red shades and then she expanded the range and released some more shades so you guys know of course I was going to pick up the nude shade so this is the give by Gwen Stefani high performance matte lipstick and this is the shade original wait original me high performance matte lipstick and it's in the shade lovable me so really cute with the cardboard packaging I love the imprint of the design on the inside and then this is what the packaging looks like. I'm obsessed with this packaging. It's really nice. Very um, just cool, edgy packaging. I love the black and white. And it says give on the side. And it says the shade name on the bottom. And then I love that it has um, the imprint of the GX on the tube. And then this is what the lipstick looks like. So this is the nude shade that I picked up. And this one is a little bit darker than the Rare Beauty shade. It's definitely a lot darker. It's not like a peach. It's more of like a nudish, 
almost rosy tone color, but this is really pretty, so I really, really like this one too. So that is everything that I got from Sephora. I didn't go crazy because your girl went crazy during the VIB sale in April, so I didn't want to get too many things. But the credit was for $65, which was pretty nice. So, and again, I just picked up those two skincare items, which those aren't like that important for me to show you guys. So, I did also place an order with Melt Cosmetics because they did re-release the Melt Muerte palette. And I decided for myself that I was not going to miss out on getting this palette this time. It's, I think they released this collection back in like 2019. And I just decided to finally pick up the palette for myself. So this is the Melt Muerte palette. And this was the whole reason as to why I picked up the order. Look how cool this is. I mean, that is so cool. I just absolutely love this packaging. I love the Sugar Skull. I just, the whole collection was really the collection that put Melt on the map. And pretty much everybody knows who Melt is now in the makeup in world, I'm pretty sure. So let's open it up and show you guys this magnificent, beautiful palette. So this is the outer packaging and then the inner packaging has that like raised material that I love, like that shiny embroidered material, super pretty. And it also has that on the back with that shiny imprint with the floral pattern. I just absolutely love it. It's so pretty. And then of course, when you open it up, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this palette before because I don't think anyone who loves makeup has not seen this palette um but this is what the palette looks like look how gorgeous she is i mean are you kidding me absolutely gorgeous like i don't even know if i'm actually going to use this palette enough but i have not picked up a melt palette in like a year okay um so i'm just going to read the names off and I love the mirror and the embroidered gold around it. It's just so pretty. Everything with the packaging and everything with this is so wonderful. So we have Angelito Lagrimas Dulo Pantheon, Noche Eterna, Katrina, Valorio, Sangre, Corazon, and Calaca. I'm sorry if I butchered the names, but I am not Spanish. So we have three shimmers and then the rest are mattes. So I'm just going to swatch these for you guys. I have only used the palette once so far. I had to dive into it and see how the formula was. I was not going to try this until like the fall time, but I was like, I really, really want to try it. So that first impressions will be up after this video. Um, but I just want to swatch a couple of the shades. But I would have to say the shimmers are very, very dry in this palette. The mattes kind of swatched gorge like super gorgeous very pigmented and very smooth so i'm just letting you guys know um but this shade angelito the minty green is kind of hard to swatch the gold swatches amazingly so this one is angelito this one is calica and this one is noche eterna and this one's a really beautiful royal blue um, and then the other mattes, of course, swatch amazingly. I have to go because I'm going to watch a show with my mom and I didn't realize how long this video was going to take me to film. I might just film the rest of it tomorrow, even though I wanted to get this video up tomorrow. I don't think I'm going to have enough time, but I'm literally going to film with what I'm going to try tomorrow. So, and I'll just put it all up to, I mean, I'm literally wasting time. I don't know why I'm explaining this. But the mattes swatch amazingly, but the shimmers are just a little iffy. So just keep that in mind. Melt is pretty much known for their matte formula. So this one is Valorio and this one is Corazon. Very, very beautiful matte shades, but I'm just letting you guys know if you do pick this up. It is a bit of an intimidating color story and formula, but once you work with Melt, I'm just saying that their formula isn't the most beginner friendly, especially in this palette. If you guys want to go for something that's a little bit easier to use, I would say go for the Rust palette because I absolutely love that one and that one's a lot easier to use. But this was absolutely gorgeous and I pretty much got this for collector's purposes. And again, I just wanted to, I've been dying to get this palette for a long time. I didn't get it when it initially launched because I just was not ready to get this at the time. 
I think I ended up trying the Rust palette was my first palette from Melt. I'm not sure if that came out after this, but that's when I fell in love with the brand, and now this is my fourth Melt palette, so I keep on coming back to them because their stuff is absolutely gorgeous. All right, I think I'm just going to finish hauling the rest of this stuff tomorrow. I want to go watch TV, so... Sorry, bye. Okay, guys, so I just wanted to finish filming my haul video for you guys. So I just wanted to um, talk about the Melt palette just a little bit more, if I could get it out of the bag. Um, so I just wanted to talk about this palette a little bit more. So like I said, I did try it once so far, and it was a little bit difficult to work with. I'm not going to lie. Um, the masks were a little bit hard to blend, and the shimmer was very hard-pressed, but it was very pretty on the eyes. So you guys will see my first impressions on this, but I'm just letting you guys know. It's not the easiest formula to work with. I still, like, you know, struggle with blending eyeshadows. I know, like, I'm not the best at blending. Um, but as far as this palette goes, I'm really excited to try it out some more. And I'm just happy it's in my collection. So, like, I wasn't too concerned about how it performed. I mean, it is an expensive palette, so I'm going to try it out in a bunch of different ways for you guys to let you guys know what I think of the formula overall. But so far, it's good, but I feel like I have other palettes that I like even more so now. Like when I was seeing some people comment on whether or not you should pick this palette up now, because it has been a couple of years since this came out. Angelic Nique was said that there's like better formulas out there now that perform a little bit better than this one. She said this formula was great at the time and the color story was so innovative at the time, but now it might just be, I mean, it's still a stunning color story. I mean, who has put this together since then? Pretty much no one. So it's gorgeous and I love the packaging and I'm just here for the re-release. I think it's beautiful and I can't believe I finally got this palette in my collection. It's a really coveted palette in the makeup industry and a lot of people love it so i'm just cra i'm just really surprised that it's finally in my collection so got that guy and now i'm going to show you guys the other things that i got from melt so i got two highlighters because i wanted to get the free shipping because in order to get free shipping on meltcosmetics.com you have to place a 75 dollar order little pricey, but I did use Afterpay to pay for it. Actually, they have Sezzle on Mel um, Melt, not Afterpay. Um, but I did pick up two of their highlighters from their sales section because I was not spending full price on anything else besides the eyeshadow palette because there was no 10% off or anything like that. So I got two of the pressed highlighters. Now, I do have one of the other highlighters in like the bigger packaging with like the engraving on it that says Melt Cosmetics. And that one is stunning. I have the shade Stargazer and that was the one that Kathleen Lights raved about constantly. And they put those like half price, I think one Black Friday. And that's when I picked it up because it was only like $17 because those are like expensive highlighters. They're like $35 a piece. But these were still, these are still on sale on melts website for $11 a piece so I thought that was a pretty good price so the first one that I got is the blush light in the shade Electra and this is what the packaging looks like really pretty and then it says the shade name on the back and then when you open it up it has like the same packaging that the cream blush lights have and the powder blush lights have as well and then when you open it up it's like actually this is not that's not the first one that I got, but this is the shade Electra, and this is like more of like a lavender purple. I think that this is a little too dark for me to use as a highlighter. It's kind of like a highlighter slash glowy blush-like product. That's why it's called a blush light, because you don't have to just use it as a highlighter. You can also use these as blushes. I think that this is going to work better as a highlighter for me. I tried to use it a couple of days ago just to see what it would look like. And honestly, it's like too dark of a color for me to make work as a highlighter. So I'm going to use this mainly as a blush. It's a really pretty like lavender color. And I think that this will pair really nicely with the Lilac You A Lot palette from ColourPop and also the Orchid You Not palette. So I thought that that was a pretty blush to have. At first, I thought it was like just a pink lavender highlighter. And then I was trying to look at swatches and reviews of this. And it said it was like a light tone 
hybrid blush highlight type of product. So I thought that was perfect. So I think this is, this is really pretty. And then the other highlighter that I got, which I thought was the one I was talking about first, um, and this one's much more of a highlighter for me rather than a blush, and this is the Melt Cosmetics Blush Light in the shade Ghost Light. And then it also says the shade name on the back, and then when you open I love the, like, metallic glittery packaging. Very pretty. Um, and then when you open it up, this is the same compact as the other one. I really love their sleek black packaging. And then when you open it up, it's like this very light, goldeny white color. At first, I thought this was going to be a lot more golden, but when I got it, it's much lighter. It's like a white gold color, but you guys, this is such a pretty highlighter. Um, I used this in my uh, first impressions of the Muerte palette. I used this as my highlighter, and it's such a beautiful, like, goldy white shade. Oh, it's so pretty. And, um... Melt highlighting formula is such a beautiful, easy formula to use, and it's just it just applies beautifully, and it's so silky smooth on the skin. Um, so I thought that this was a really pretty highlighter. And again, did I need more highlighters like a hole in the head? Definitely not. But I think it's a gorgeous highlight. So and it was on sale, so I was like, okay, fine. And then the last thing that I got was actually free with a $75 order or more. So what they were featuring at first when I was trying to order the Muerte palette is that they were featuring kind of like this bronzy, orangey, champagne-y highlighter. But when I was trying to add it to my cart, it was sold out. So I saw on Instagram, because I just checked out without getting the highlighter because I couldn't get it, um, I saw on their Instagram stories that I think that they had changed what the item was supposed to be because I think they realized that the highlighter was sold out and probably people were getting annoyed that they were featuring a free product that was sold out. So they changed it. I'm thinking that's why they changed it and they changed it to a free blush instead. Um, so I emailed them and I said, I'm, I just placed an order is there any way, that, and I did spend the $75 and over, um, is there any way if I could get this blush that you guys were featuring on your Instagram stories, could I get it added to my order? And they replied back and they said, of course, but it will be shipped separately. Um, but then I said, just the blush, I was like, that would be great, thank you so much. But then they emailed me back again and they said, good news, it's going to be included with your order. So I thought that was really nice. I've heard that Milk Cosmetics customer service is really, really good. And also it's a free product, so it doesn't cost them anything to throw it into your order. Just sometimes it kind of throws off like the whole shipment chain. And they, if they have to change in order, it gets a little bit crazy. So I do understand that. But they were kind enough to throw it in the order for me. So the blush that they were featuring free with a $75 purchase is the shade Bowdy and it's a one of their powder blushes and it says the shade name on the on the back and I like that the blush is in a black metallic packaging as opposed to the highlighter which is in the white packaging well the silver packaging so I think that's really cute and again it's the same type of compact and then this is what the shade looks like it's a really bright pink and you guys know I love these kind of shades in the summertime but what's also funny is that I have not tried any of Melt's powder blushes. I've only tried the cream blush lights, and I have two shades of those. So the first shade I'm going to be trying in the powder blushes is this bright pink. I probably should have gotten an, a nude shade, but again, I'm not trying to <laughs> buy too many blushes right now. So this is the only other blush that I got besides the two Benefit Box blushes in this haul. And since it was free, I was like, yeah, I want to try it. And it's a really, really pretty Barbie pink shade. And I think that I'm going to get quite a bit of use out of this before the summer is over. So I'm excited to try it. So that is everything that I got from Melt. Okay, and then the last two things in this haul are two things that I picked up from Nomad Cosmetics. And I'm going to share with you guys what I got. The first thing is what I'm wearing on my eyes today. And this arrived last night. And... Originally, I was going to try and finish the haul last night, but um, I obviously, like I said, I couldn't watch, I couldn't watch Saul without like ending the haul earlier. So I was able to try out the palette today. So the first thing that I got is the Nomad 
Feet de Provence eyeshadow palette, and it does have the shade names on the back. But I really wanted to get this palette, and yes, I got five eyeshadow palettes in this haul. Not regretting a single one of them, though, because I was kind of interested in this palette as soon as it came out, and I knew I was going to get it at some point, so I just decided to get it a few days ago, and it came super quick. They're very fast with their shipping, so this is what the palette looks like. Very pretty packaging and it does come with a tissue paper insert which I really like it also comes with a really big mirror and then this is what the eyeshadow palette looks like it's super duper pretty I just filmed my first impressions on this so you guys will see that um soon after this video goes up but we have a 15 pan eyeshadow palette from Nomad and this is their latest release I think it came out last month um, and as soon as I saw this color story, I knew that I wanted to get this palette. I think it's just such a pretty spring palette. And since I, you know, sold quite a bit of palettes on my Poshmark lately, I kind of wanted to try some new palettes. So that's why I picked up this one as well. The Melt Moirate palette and the Nude Mood don't really count that much because, but the, um, in the Limelight and the Palms, the In the Springs and this one were all on my list to try as like new palettes. So... The other two are older palettes, so I don't think they count as much, but also it's the Moerte palette. But anyway, we have 15 shades in here. We have 10 mattes, and we have a row of shimmers in the middle. So we have these pastel mattes on the top, these deeper shimmers, a deeper mattes on the bottom, and then we have this full row of shimmers in the middle. So I'm just going to give you guys a close-up really quick. I am not going to pronounce any of these shades for you guys. So I'm just going to show you guys what it looks like, but these are all French names, and I'm going to butcher the hell out of them, so I'm not going to say any of them, but I will swatch a few of them for you guys. So I just wanted to tell you what I'm wearing on my eyes today. So I put this golden yellow in my crease first, then I darken up the crease with this peach shade, and I put that here, and then on the outer corners, I use the shade Macarons. That's like the only one I can pronounce, because hello, it's Macarons. <laughs> And then on the lid, I put this peachy gold shade all over my lid. And then I used this peachy matte on my lower lash line. And then I used this really stunning gold yellow shimmer on my inner corners. And that is my look for today. I am getting serious Natasha Denona Sunrise vibes from this palette. I don't know if I said sunset in my first impressions because I said it was pretty similar to that color story. But... I'm kind of curious to swatch those side by side, so let me know if you're interested. I already have to swatch the Beauty Bay and Naked Heat palette for one of my subscribers. They asked me to do that. But I'm just going to swatch a few of these for you guys. I did swatch this last night as well, but I definitely want to swatch a couple of these for you guys on camera. Just really gorgeous shimmer shades. So that one is the Golden Sparkly Green. And this one is like the purpley shimmer. Oh, so pretty. Um, and I'll swatch another shimmer for you guys because I think these shimmers are stunning. That is like that pinky tone one. I'm going to use this one probably tomorrow. And it's a really pretty like sparkly purpley pink. It's so pretty. And then I'll swatch a couple of the mattes for you guys. I'm going to do this lavender color. I'm going to do the orange. And let's do... One of the deeper mattes. Really, really pretty. Um, I don't know why I keep on running out of swatch room lately. <laughs> I don't know how these shades take up so much space on my hand, but it's kind of more of like a sheer formula, but they're very pretty. So that's that lavender purple. That's like that orangey color that I put on my lower lash line and my crease. And then this one is the macaron shade that I used on, no, the pinky shade called Vendange. I don't even know, but it's like a really pretty like berry pink. That could have almost worked for this um, look as well. But I also love the little engravings that they have in the pans of like the bottle and the grapes and the wine cheers, wine glasses, the sun, flower, this believe in the... Um, peach color, the lavender flowers, and the lavender purple. Just super cute. Really love the packaging overall. It's just so adorable. Nomad's packaging is 10 out of 10. Amazing. And I'm really excited to try more shades in this palette. 
the Nomad formula is super easy to work with. So I need to stop rambling because this, this video is so freaking long. But I'm just saying this palette is gorgeous and I can't wait to do more looks with it. And then the last thing that I got in this haul is the Nomad Cindy Bathers Balmoral Beach Highlighter in the shade Balmoral Beach. And the reason why I decided to get this is because, first off, it's only $2.50 on their website. It's like all their highlighters are on super sale still. And I picked up a highlighter when I picked up the Whistler Snow Lodge palette. And I fell in love with the formula of that that I've always, that I've wanted to try another um, shade of them. So I decided to get this one. It's really cute with the packaging. I really like it. And then this is what this highlighter looks like. And it's a gorgeous peachy champagne color. It's so stunning. I'm actually wearing this one on my cheeks today. It's the first time I, I tried it as well. And their formula is just so shimmery and beautiful. I forgot that this was a shade I wanted to put on my inner corners. But I just used it as my highlighter today. Because the yellow shade still works as a inner corner highlight for this look. But look how stunning that is. It's so super smooth and shiny and beautiful. Absolutely love their highlighting formula. And again, these are only $2.50. So if you get like four of these, you're only going to be spending like $10. So I highly recommend this formula if you had not tried it. I hope they come out with some new cheek products soon because these have been on their website for so long. I think they're still waiting for them to sell out. But seriously, these are amazing. So yeah, that's it, you guys. Finally, we are done with this video. So I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Follow me on my Instagram at speedw819 and check out my Poshmark at the same handle. First impressions are coming from the Nomad Cosmetics palette and for the Melt Muerte palette. So just keep an eye out for those if you want to see them in action. I already have first impressions up on all three of the ColourPop palettes if you guys want to check those out. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye.